Hello and welcome to Season 2, Episode 2. Today we will be building the floor and it's a lot of work, so let's roll the intro and get right at it. Bum bum ba dum bum bum. Mr. Boxman. I start by removing these cargo securing thingies that's holding the floor down. Damn, it's gross under there. When the old floor is out, it's obvious that it needs a serious cleaning. I made a mixture of chlorine, degreaser, alcohol, aftershave and wishful thinking. It took a while, but it got the job done. Every now and then I found rust holes through the floor. That's not good, especially since the cell and guaranteed me a pretty much rust-free vehicle. When I removed the wall panel it wasn't much better. The seller basically told me to suck it. Not much I could do about that, but at least I won't be giving these windows any more free promotion. And with that out of my system, it's time to move on. The reason it's gone this wrong is because this doorstop is missing and rainwater has been able to get in and cause rust. With a new $5 doorstep the problem is solved. There's a lot of rust in this pretty rust-free vehicle and it took forever to fix it. The rust had spread under this wall so I had to remove it. They didn't even bother to clean the van before they sold it. Cleaned and rust proofed. Since the wall was down anyway, I took the opportunity to dress it in filt to match the monster, and then I put it back. I coated the entire inside in underseal to further protect it from future rust. When the underseal is dry, it's time to get to the actual building of the floor. I cut some wood to fit the outline of the floor, and when I'd made sure it all fitted, I glued it down.
With some tape I marked where to put this wooden beam. The floor's not even so I used some mineral wool to fill the gaps. I don't think the wool will make any difference, it just felt right, it, rather it felt wrong to leave pockets of air under the insulation. Anyway, I put closed cell phone boards over it all and then I screw plyboard on top of everything. The next section is done the same way. The last section however is slightly different, since I'm gonna run some cables below the floor I needed to get that down now. So I ran all the cables to where they needed to go and marked them properly. I needed to cut the slot in the cell phone to house the cables. When the floor was screwed in place I noticed a gap between the plyboard. Some idiot obviously measured wrong. I blame this guy. There was also these twig crater holes so I had to bring out the putty anyway. The next day the putty was dry and it's time to glue the carpet. I started in the middle and worked my way forward. This day was scorching hot so I put on shorts. This gave me the opportunity to show off my fabulous tattoo. When I reached the wall I returned to the middle and worked my way to the back. After some careful trimming the result looked like this. Here the floor goes above the edge, this is intentionally, and if it's genius or idiotic we'll find out in a future episode. I got a lot of excess carpet so I stored it in the monster for the time being. To protect the floor while building the rest of the van I covered it in plastic. 
The floor is done and this is it for this time. I hope you'll join me in the next episode where we'll be building the roof. If you watched all the way to the end, I'm deeply grateful and I hope you'll consider liking, commenting and subscribing since it will help me a lot.